You're on a game show, and there are three doors in front of you. The host says, behind one door is a brand new car. Behind the other two doors are goats. Pick a door. You think, well, it doesn't matter which door I choose. Every door has a one-third chance of having the car behind it. So, you choose door number one. Now it gets interesting. The host, who knows where the car is, opens door number two and reveals a goat. The host always opens a door to reveal a goat. The host says, if you want, you can switch to door number three. What should you do? Stay with your original choice or switch to the other door? All right, so what are you going to do? Stay or switch? Well, it's a 50-50 chance of winning the car in either door, right? You actually double your chances of winning the car by switching doors. Choose an explanation. There is a one-third chance of the car being behind door number one, and a two-thirds chance that the car isn't behind door number one. After the host opens door number two to reveal a goat, there's still a one-third chance that the car is behind door number one, and a two-thirds chance that the car isn't behind door number one. A two-thirds chance that the car isn't behind door number one is a two-thirds chance that the car is behind door number three. Imagine that instead of three doors, there are 100. All of them have goats, except one, which has the car. You choose a door, say door number 23. At this point, the host opens all of the other doors, except one, and gives you the offer to switch to the other door. Would you switch? Now you may arrogantly think, well, maybe I actually picked the correct door on my first guess. But what's the probability that that happened? 1 out of 100. There's a 99% chance that the car isn't behind the door that you picked. And if it's not behind the door that you picked, it must be behind the last door that the host left for you. In other words, the host has helped you by leaving one door for you to switch to that has a 99% chance of having the car behind it. So in this case, if you were to switch, you would have a 99% chance of winning the car. To win using the stay strategy, you need to choose the car on your first pick because you're planning to stay with your initial choice. The chance of picking the car on your first pick is clearly one out of three. But in order to win using the switch strategy, you only need to pick a goat on your first pick because the host will reveal the other goat and you'll end up switching to the car. So, you want to use the strategy that lets you win if you choose a goat initially, because you're twice as likely to start by picking a goat. To understand why it's better to switch doors, let's play out a few scenarios. Let's see what will happen if you were to always stay with your original choice. We'll play out three scenarios one for each door that the car could be behind. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. And it doesn't matter which door you start out with, so to keep it simple, we'll always start by choosing door number one. Stay strategy, scenario one. The car is behind door number one. You choose door number one, then, 
the host reveals a goat behind door number two. And, because you always stay, you stay with door number one. You win the car. Stay strategy, scenario two. The car is behind door number two. You start by picking door number one. The host reveals a goat behind door number three. And you're using the stay strategy, so you stay with door number one. You get a goat. Stay strategy, scenario three. The car is behind door number three. You pick door number one. The host opens door number two to reveal a goat. You stay with door number one and you get a goat. So, using the stay strategy, you won the car one out of three times. That means that in any one instance of playing the game, your chance of winning the car, if you choose to stay, is one-third, or about 33%. Now, let's try switching doors. Again, we'll always start by picking door number one. Switch strategy, scenario one. The car is behind door number one. You choose door number one. The host opens door number two to reveal a goat. You are using the switch strategy, so you switch to door number three. You get a goat. Switch strategy, scenario two. The car is behind door number two. You start by picking door number one. The host opens door number three to reveal a goat. You switch to door number two and win the car. Switch strategy, scenario three. The car is behind door number three. You pick door number one. The host opens door number two to reveal a goat. You switch to door number three and win the car again. So, with the switch strategy, you won the car two out of three times. That means that in any one instance of the game, your chance of winning the car, if you choose to switch doors, is two-thirds, or about 67%. Therefore, if you play the game three times and stay, on average you'll win the car once. But if you play the game three times and switch each time, on average you'll win the car twice. That's twice as many cars. Choose an explanation.